Plant Responses Part 2. This is the final video. So the second part of this chapter is all about plant adaptations. So plant adaptations is discussing all the measures that plants use to protect themselves against, for example, adverse conditions. That means harsh conditions and examples of harsh conditions for plants would be extreme temperatures or drought. Plant adaptations also covers the measures taken by plants to protect themselves against disease causing organisms, those pathogens. And also how do plants protect themselves from their predators, those herbivores that want to eat them completely? Plant adaptations are either physical or chemical, and whenever I consider the physical adaptations, I often consider them as barriers or deterrents, things to stop other organisms going near the plant. And then there are chemical adaptations, which are usually proteins or other chemicals produced inside the plant. So some of the physical adaptations would be thorns, bark, epidermis, waxy cuticle, stinging hairs, stomata that can close, and desert plants, for example, the cactus would have those needle-like leaves that prevent water loss. So let's take a look at some of these physical adaptations. Well, thorns on a plant will prevent or deter animals from biting into the plant. The bark on trees acts as a physical barrier. It's preventing the entry of pathogens. The waxy cuticle on leaves prevents excess water loss. Stinging hairs and nettles are painful because they inject a toxin into the animal that brushes against them. So these are deterrents as well. And Plants have stomata and those guard cells can close over the stomata in times of drought or extreme temperatures. So let's look at some of the chemical adaptations, for example, heat shock proteins. So plant enzymes, remember enzymes are globular shaped proteins and their shape is key to how they function. And if you do anything to the shape, the enzyme cannot function, it cannot catalyze. So at very high temperatures, those enzymes, those plant enzymes can become denatured. So in times of extreme heat or extreme temperature, heat shock proteins will surround the plant enzymes and they protect the globular shape. They prevent the shape from being changed. Another chemical adaptation is the production of phytoalexins. These chemicals produced when a plant is infected by a pathogen. There are many different types. Some of them are antibacterial and antifungal, and they're involved in this very complex response whereby infected plant cells eventually get fenced off and destroyed to prevent infection spreading. So at the end of this video, you need to know four methods which plants use to protect themselves. So that's not much a mix of physical and chemical methods or adaptations. Know what adverse means. It means harsh and give specific examples for plants. So a harsh condition or an adverse condition would be extremely high temperatures or drought. So now tie in all this information in with video number one. And finally, I would highly recommend that you go and study the IAA practical. Know how you conduct serial dilutions. Know what the graph means that you get from the end results of that practical. We covered it yesterday also in video one. So the details of this practical are very important. It might be a very wise idea to go and revise that now. And there is a video on it. So good luck with all of your revision. Remember, writing your own notes, drawing little diagrams will help it go into your long term memory. Use your textbook, use the videos if they help, use exam papers. But the trick as well is little and often. Best of luck.